lots of clinks lately uh, in the games I've been casting. He has gotten a ton of buffs lately. And that Searing Arrows buff was a real, like, head turner because they just gave him 10 more. And you're like, whoa. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Uh, so he kills this wave, and no, who else lets you scout the uh, people of the trees like this, right? Yeah. Uh, this, solo? This is his hero outside of techies. Solo? He took a lot of damage there. A couple tower shots, but it was all a bait. Ilias goes down first blood. Yeah, they uh, they can't afford to let uh, Treant and uh, Grimstruck just go for free kills. Now, Tree gets in a little bit aggressive here. Got to watch the angles and those dives from Slayer. He's able to catch him so freely, and he's dead. Yeah. I Maledic. think. Oh, maybe. One more punch. I thought he and might sound for it. Asha is still standing nearby, does have that spear available, so they need to channel it with two different All heroes. All the low ground trees and cut, so Solo can't oh, help. Oh, they're not going to get there in time, and they're going to lose it. Solo, I don't think, gets there. They lose resolution. They're not going to get the outpost. A smoke gank is coming. Do they have any detection? Tree has some dust. They spawn out resolution over here. Magical just keeps on hanging out in the woods. And they run into that Mars right at the start. Resolution just goes down. And I, I don't know. All right, the haste rune. Pasha should just be dead. He's got no mana for a TP, but there's also coverage from the uh, ulti as well. So. <laughs> nice. Yeah, tell him, Pasha. I knew I was going to die. <laughs> well. Solo going back in again for the ward snipe. Unfortunately, he's going to pay for it with his life. Magical eats a creep, finds resolution yet again. I mean, the scary thing about this, too, is that this is all happening before Clinks really has an item. And ILTW, if dead. he's not careful, he's down. Witch Doctor Ultimate, a couple more punches. I I don't know. Like, Navi just feel like they're getting everything that they want. Maybe some of it is like you're studying this Morphling being the last pick and just not having an answer for it. A super free morph game. I mean, some of it's just like, why, why is he farming right there? Yeah. Spin without TPing or something. It's like pretty bold maneuvers. There's the silence now, though. On to two. They got the follow up afterwards with the Phantoms Embrace. They do have the Supernova if cool. they want to pop it right now. But this Sunray doing so much for the heal. Magical turns now onto that DP four forward. Oh, man, and the Death Pack keeping Magical alive that much longer. Right clicks coming in one by one. They are going down. Zayat might also burn to this. Uh, and it looks like he's just barely going to be able to live. But Pasha throws out that arena, puts the kibosh on the chase. And that should mean that he's set up to cut a wave if he needs to, or just be back behind enemy lines here. One more charge okay, of the spirit dude, vessel. If they counter initiate with this arena, though, if they all go in on crystallize, it's going to be really bad for VP. They got to be careful. Silence is there. Pasha throws down the arena, misses the spear, though. And on the other side, Slayer is nearby, does not have the supernova, but the leash is onto the morph. He's trying to switch back. Attribute shift over. They popped exorcism. I think Navi just run away. Yeah, don't uh, look like that. The chase is coming. The silence is there onto the Phoenix, but you want more than that kill if you are VP right now. And actually, the turnaround spear missed yet again. Just all kinds of craziness going down. Omni Slash onto Crystallize while he was switching over, doing literally nothing. Witch Doctor Ultimate in the meantime. Silence comes out to break that one, but LTW getting pummeled and punched down by Magical, who is eventually going to get killed off by the third spear, which finally hits from Pasha. And with that, VP are going to have to back up. Skeleton walk, eyes on no one. They're walking uphill into World of Hurt. You gotta hit this spear, and he does. Pasha's back, baby. And no one, he is going to die. Sweet silence, though. Got him. <laughs> yeah, uh, down bottom, I mean, maybe this is part of the reason that's happening too. Slayer just forcing back Zayats does have a supernova, but does not want to cast it right in the face of the jug. Oh my God, that could have been pretty sick. Uh, they are still probably going to bring down Zayats as he is left alone. Stun comes out and dead. <laughs> he got ditched, dude. I was like, is he going to Omni RTW? He's like, oh, he's TP. He's yeah. just gone. I mean, it's a Myers. It's pretty tanky at this point. Probably for the best. Oh, Magical. Solo. Chase down. A couple more right clicks. He's dead. Omni slash onto Magical. Trading over the aggro, but it's not enough. Keep alive that clink. So nice play there by ILTW to pick up a kill finally. As uh, that tower again still remains, they're going to run into Solo. Not the hero they wanted, but if it's this free, they will take it. <laughs> Dude, it's, I mean, you don't need a net if you do that much damage. Oh, no one. He did have a TP, but no way out of there now. No one's in a ton of trouble. Going to throw out that exorcism, but he's just dead. 
I don't know about that one. Now trying to burn through ILTW, it won't be quite as quick and clean as it was on no one. It's like, oh, I'll need to be sweet. If you Yule, then everyone else just dies. It's like, come on, dude, do your job. Take that, Ilias. <laughs> teach you not to give me tangos. All right, smoke up for the DP up front and center. Navi heading through the river underneath some vision there. The Morphling courier heads by LTW, spots out Pasha, tries to do the butt spear. Went out of the side though. Tree takes a ton of damage. Time lapse at the start, so they don't have it for round two. Elias throws out the coconuts, gonna try and leash up one. A decent chunk of damage. They buy back on the Grim Stroke, and now running through the Omni Slash doesn't actually do that much at all. So they are going to probably end up losing another here. Crystallize right clicking LTW, trying to bring him down. All magical chases has them in their sights. They've already lost two apiece with a buyback coming from the Grim Stroke. Magical trying to punch into him. ILTW turning now onto the Clinks, trying to get the stun, trying to get the kill. Is it going to be enough? The spin it is. They take down the Clinks and now Crystallize also in a little bit of trouble. The full jump through can't quite connect for the kill onto the Death Prophet. The Sunray's coming through, but the heal was already there. Now LTW with the Ink Swell, the right clicks onto Crystallize. They will win the fight. Nice. And that's what allows the LTW to play pretty aggressively in the, the bottom part of the map. Like he's not super close to Roche, but they're getting a little nervous. So they're going to smoke up and we're going to pick an angle. Are we doing some some wild stuff? Where are we going? We're going this way. We're all right through the middle. No one will ever expect it. <laughs> oh my God, they're going in. Clink's just finished a sheep stick though. I don't think they know about this. Ah, uh, we'll watch for it. Who breaks the smoke onto who? VP going for that whole wraparound. No one's going to be there on the low ground. Crystallize again. They have pretty good vision. All by a one man play. Oh, uh, they see him all the jump in science. He's got the overgrowth, the stun onto three, the silence afterwards. They're tearing them apart on VP. The spear comes out, but it's far too late with three already dead. Holy crap. Zayat and Solo. They destroyed that fight. You know, and then, then they're more wary of it. Uh, he's just going to flex it mid anyway. Oh, he just runs in on the Ilias. Rest of his team not there. Doesn't have exorcism. Doesn't care. He's just ready to party. Maledict there onto one. No one still wants to jump in. The spear on the back lines, but they get the silence off the clanks again. Rooted, magical. No answer. Does get the solar crest off. So a little bit of Omni Slash bouncing back onto VP. Not good enough, but it doesn't matter. He's in the Omni Slash. He's still just going to chop you up. And with that, VP take down the clanks have the arena back up in 20 more seconds, but LTW beating into this range rack does not have Aegis, but does have Satanic, Moonshard, and uh, he's going to back out, giving a little bit of respect there to Navi before he goes in for round two. And Exorcism pop, just like that. Solar Crest turned out, lots of damage, but guess what? There is a time lapse. No one turns, tries to find another opening here. The BKB is out, keeping him alive and well. LTW trying to punch down and kill off that Mars. It's not quite gonna happen. They still have a lot of healing coming in from that Phoenix, but is it going to be enough? The Stroke of Fate comes out afterwards, and still all of VP is just so hard to kill. They have another time lapse afterwards for no one if they need it. As Pasha chases, the arena is down. Okay, the heal comes back out. And now the supernova on the other side, LTW. Wait, no, he got caught. You will step your lift up and now he's gonna get stunned. That's all of them caught. Sai gets pulled back in another time by that Weaver, but they will lose the Grim Stroke. DP very, very low right now as Crystallize gets turned around upon yet again. LTW should have Omni Slash back up 40 seconds away as no one is still living as the chase keeps Player went in, through. dude. <laughs> and it is not happening. GG is called. It, it was just it was all too much. VP were this indomitable force, and they win. And your mid game's just too strong. Tornado, Rolling Thunder, Ice. Well, like Navi, you're gonna need multiple BKBs to take this. And then I mean, it's gonna be five minutes anyway. So now you have to try and hold at least one of the boundaries. Ideally, two is always good for your guy. But uh, they with that rotation, that's so big. These like little moments, right, where you you are able to scout the rotation coming in and so stop bad. it from being a kill on the <laughs> Shadow Fiend. I mean, Slayer will die, but that's magical living at the very least. Um, Slayer actually, almost lived there. That wait a minute, time. Rezo getting right clicked. He's dead. Crystallize makes the rotation. One kill on the. Well, actually, maybe Magical's in trouble now. ILTW comes in both safe laners, making the full rotation over. Coddle trying to keep Magical alive. Another round of the raise. The kill is there, though, and ILTW just pops the ulti, runs away. And just like that, our Navi overextending yet again. 
Uh, no one trying to chase down Ilias. A punch is not quite enough to finish him. No one goes down. Just absolute madness in the jungle as LTW tries to pounce away. Just uh, just keep forcing this tower, and because they have this tier two taken down bottom, that's going to keep pushing and threatening the tier three, just like constant damage over time and giving them tons of info when no one's pushing it out. Here's the punch coming in from Navi. They yeah, do Willow. again find Magical. He's caught for the moment. Roar going to land, but that just means that it hits the SF again with the ball. And the tower is still standing, but the rotation slayer comes back in the cube of death, wanting to find somebody to latch onto, to, but doesn't hit. He can't get him. Well, the tier one tower is still standing up top, but it looks like it's Navi that want to try and take this mid tier two tower. Crystallize gets the Deso hit onto it. Ilias chased down a little bit by resolution. Ghost Scepter out. ILTW is going to be found. Slap pull back in. Roar. He didn't get the dark pack off. He's in a ton of trouble, but the turnaround is there with the disarm. Holy crap. They barely keep him alive. Now Slayer stealing that rolling thunder, trying to run down ILTW. Has him in his sights, but can't do anything. So far, only the Coddle has died. So Navi, maybe a little bit of an overextension there. That was a great play to keep the Slark alive, though. Yeah, but they have Slark, Pango, and Invoker, so the chase is very real. They have to decide now is Navi. Are we just going to keep backing? Or are we trying to hold this high ground? And uh, LTW is going for the big, long wraparound. Found one, but can't quite get him. The clumsy net going to connect onto Ember. Silence out of mana, out of time. And Crystallize goes down. That is a lot of gold into Resolution's pocket. And now Finding Slayer, VP have been unleashed a little bit here as they take down another two of Navi. Also got a little bit of vision over there from the uh, Rubik and the Shadow Fiend. Blink forward, Pasha spots out that Dazzle, trying to bring him down at the start. BKB reaction time. LTW trying to turn now and catch this Rubik. Wasn't able to find that kill. Resolution rolls through round two, trying to take down Slayer. Still not happening. Rezo is going to be chased by the full oh, the run dog. down. Oh, my God. God. And uh, Blink Dagger, you know, Pasha, he just wanted the point and click this time, right? Mystery yeah. adventure. He doesn't want to have to throw that spear and maybe miss. True enough. Shadow Fiend. Oh, no, he's such a kill. Good there, but the lift up afterwards, the roar on top of it. Resolution trying to stop the aggression with the roll, but it is not going to happen. The hoof stomp afterwards. Now Rezo may be a little bit in trouble as well. Now he's going to be able to make the escape. That puts, like, even Slark is just heavily hit by that, you know? That's like zero armor on Pango. It'll be down like the... Well, and you've got all these other auras that are built with it, too. Magical is there as well. They find the Invoker yet again, and he is getting beat down. No armor, no answer. And there is a roll through coming onto both of them, but look at Resolution just get completely tanked through on this one. Now they're trying to run away with LTW, but Ember is on the case. The punches are there. He's got another round of the Sleight of Fist chains in just a second as LTW makes his way to the high ground, continuing to run after him. He's still running away. Space created TP out. Is it enough? LTW has gone. All right, that works. Uh, once the five man starts, this Dazzle just, he can't really like sneak and push waves mid. They, did oh, they get the stun? Well, they they got him. Chain Fairland comes in. Full pull down, LTW tries to make the escape remnant chase forward, and this dude is dead yet again. I don't know when the turnaround occurs, but they're, they're gonna try and find it now. They've got the backline invoker, looking for the stab. See, now here comes the Slayer. Oh, not, nope, that wasn't, that wasn't it. Slayer finds him, oh, oh no. Maybe it was. LTW, dead. getting him, more staff, run away, magical, just three shots solo in the base while Ilias Gets down the big old ulti onto two. Slayer still invis through all of this. The control is there. The roar has already been used. The continued beatdown of no one. He just completely evaporates. The resolution doing nothing. They get the stolen rolling thunder yet again. Slayer chasing, trying to run down solo for his second life, but GG is called. That was a hell of a beatdown. But I do like it. Lesh has been popping off in a lot of the games that I've seen him lately. A salve and a use of the shadow word for the uh, the harassment he put out. So I, I call that one maybe a little not worth, but perhaps uh, Pasha missed enough last hits that it was okay. Down bottom, Syat also going to get found out there and Slayer going to draw first blood. Now that they've actually got a ward right on Rezo. They're going to start the initiation once more. He needs a lucky bounce and he gets it. No, oh, so Rezo, units. are you kidding me? How does that happen to him over and over? And now the chase down happens. One more tick of Maledict is going to do it. Dude, this has been such a value Maledict game. This is a tough kill, even with the Void Spirit there. Dangerous. 
They don't have level six yet on AA, but they are just going to blow him up. Holy crap. All right. That was not nearly as tough as I thought it was going to be. And instead, they're going to lose Zayats. Uh, the jump in comes. They're thinking about dropping the solo ulti, but the silence is already out. Dissimilate dodges a lot of the damage. They're chill chasing, but Crystallized looks to escape. Ilias, you will fall. But that was everybody rotating over and Golem used. And now it's up for round two. The turnaround is there. Witch Doctor Ultimate under resolution. He's taking a ton of damage. He's dead. BP right into Navi. Ilias spots him right there. Ice Blast onto two. They pull it in. Aether Remnant jump through Yule Scepter. Trying to control Pasha. Able to back away. But the Witch Doctor Ultimate off on the side. Slayer. Absolute god. <laughs> Oh, I don't see that. and one, dude. Dude, you guys gotta run. Hide, get away. Slayer tried to swung to the siren, but it's not happening. LTW hoping to escape. And Solo was able to get out of there. The net is down, but the coconuts are bouncing. My man's in some trouble. Warlock ulti coming down onto all of them with the fatal bonds. Rezo just wants to black hole, but they can't find a target. ILTW is going to die. Everybody is gone. Rezo wants to find a kill desperately. Crystallized might actually die here. So they take down the Ricky. Trying to Basically live. Basically chain frost this game because they keep dying. You're not wrong. Absolutely. Espresso, Crack thank you. Frostbit. Oh, frostbit. <laughs> Silence. Run away. They're trying to back out. I mean, Deep here taking this tower. It's happening. They're, they're and, waiting for that song. Oh, God. Magical. He's Dude, thinking he's about it. He's so many times. They control, they control, walking forward, already kill off one, that's the Treant. They don't have any more follow-up. Crystallize in the back lines, able to get it. The black hole there, it's on to three. Is it good enough? No, no, he gets taken down. No one also is going to fall. Oh, and it's like a train crash. You can't even look away as the Naga will escape, but everybody else dies. Yeah, big, uh, big kill, double buybacks though. So still, still fine. Uh, at least they didn't use the black hole. They didn't have to use like all the spells or anything. Uh, they still have the song as well. I guess at this point it's 80 seconds anyway, so it's not the huge deal. Ice blast and going in on the Rezo. Oh, Rezo, almost gonna pop. I think he is dead. But Pasha, can he get out? Control comes there. The root. Crystallize trying to throw out the silence to see if they can bring him down. And Naga also gonna be taunted. Pull back in. Pasha trying to escape, but the nature's grasp. Dagon is not getting leveled up anymore. Going back for the KB. Magical runs in up front center. Zayat there Zayat. with the overgrowth. Do they have any follow up? BKB black hole already out. Resolution under control and going to drop. Zayat is low, but the Witch Doctor ultimate. Look at the damage coming out onto all of them. The silence is there. No one's getting blasted. They kill off three. Navi making it work as LGW is going to lift it up afterwards and hold back in in just a moment. No control, but the buybacks are coming. Naga Siren able to get <laughs> the down. Dude. The Maledict <laughs> Dick. My God. Never He's doubt 12, Slayer. Zero and seven. Keeps losing the heroes. And of course, our man, Mr. Slayer, still untouched. There's 12 Pasha. Zero, 7 Runs in. Bissel Blade trying to bring him down. Song of the Siren afterwards. It's on to two. Is it going to be good enough? Rezo, go. He's going to go for BKB Black Hole onto both of them. Do they have the damage though? Witch Doctor Ultimate off on the side rooted. It ain't breaking it. The Witch Doctor Ultimate still going, but they will control up Zayats. Try and take him down. LTW, no illusions to speak of. Even though they got that BKB, it was only the Manta style illusions and Navi lived through the burst. Silence onto the Warlock. Ulti has already been cast. They don't have the damage. No one gets bashed as they chase forward, looking for more. They have buyback on some more of these heroes if they feel like they need to use it, but there's just so little left in the tank. Maybe magical here. Although I don't even know if these illusions are doing enough. They're bringing him down, but not low enough. Malefice out, still controlling. Crystallize takes down Zyads. The tree is dead and Navi still looking pretty as they finally able to break the base. And the song will be back soon. Another 15 seconds. Black Hole still so far away. Warlock Ulti so far away. The Ice Blast onto the Naga's head. The Silence onto all of them. Chasing forward for round two is magical. And as they buy back on that Naga Siren, Navi trying to retreat a little bit. The Silence came out from no one, but they just don't have the damage at Dude. all. Oh, they're gonna open the Abyssal. Got him caught. Resolution gonna be done. No one gets hit. Crystallized chase down happens, flicker away, does manage to get out of there.
but they have no Enigma. He does have buyback and black hole. There's maybe a chance. This could be their moment. LTW oh, needs Slayer. to get it perfectly, but the control coming from Slayer. Dagon out onto his face. Song of the Siren. They're all grouped together. Are you kidding me? There's no freaking way. He needs to get back there in time. Trying to get his sword. Maybe Black Hole on the four. Do they have the damage though? The burn through. It's coming out. Slayer finally going to be dead. But Pasha comes in, tries to turn this fight. Can they make it happen? Overgrowth the buyback on two. Witch Doctor and A are trying to get back into this fight. They know that there is no BKB Black Hole at this point and no one under control going to drop. It looked pretty, but in the end, it is not looking like it's going to be enough as Naga Siren taunted, taken down, dead for two minutes. Gonna try and take down these buildings. Warlock ulti down along with those fatal bonds, but the jump forward and the kill onto Solo as he is eventually going to drop. And the Ancient going into drop here. Zayat still trying to control Pasha, pulls him back in. They get the stun off, everybody's dead, and good game, well played. 53 minutes and 52,000 net worth. Na'Vi, take the series 2-1. I will give them impressive patience on that one.